So today we are going to be talking on evolution and here are the lesson objectives for this topic. Um, at the end of this lesson, students are expected to know what is evolution, what is natural selection, what genes got to do with evolution, the process of evolution and the types of evolution. So we quickly go back to the introduction of this topic. Um, the evolution of living organism it's known as organic evolution it is broadly the total adaptive changes that have taken place over a long period of time so it leads to the development of new species from earlier ones and those new species they can live their lives in different ways from which they evolved yeah many species also become extinct in this never ending process so we're going to define evolution in biological terms so in biological terms we say that evolution is the change in the characteristics of a species over several generations and relies on the process of natural selection uh, the theory of evolution is based on the idea that all species are related and gradually change over time so evolution relies on there being generic variation the population which affects the physical the physical characteristics more like the phenotype of an organism so some of these characteristics may give the individual which they can pass on to their offspring so we go over to the meaning of natural selection so according to charles darwin's theory of evolution he said that evolution happens by natural selection and those natural selections they are as follows it said that individuals in a species show variation in physical characteristics. So this variation is because of differences in their genes and then individuals with characteristics best suited to their environments are more likely to survive in finding food, avoiding predators and resisting diseases. So another one is that individuals that are poorly adapted to their environments, they are less likely to survive and reproduce. And the last of it all, but not the least, is that as a consequence, those individuals most suited for their environment, uh, to their environment, they survive. And when they are given enough time, the species, they will gradually evolve and like take charge of their life. So having known that one, uh, discussing what genes got to do with evolution, more like the relationship with genes and evolution, said that the mechanism of evolution operates at the genomic level. And we all know that genome is the complete set of genes or genetic material present in, all, in a cell or organism. So changes in DNA sequences affect the composition and expression of our genes, yes, and the basic of our inheritance. So any change at all affects it. So to understand how different species have evolved, we have to look at the DNA sequences in their genomes. So when DNA and genes in different species look very similar, this is usually taken as an evidence of them sharing ancestors. Uh, okay, so we say that DNA accumulate changes over time, and some of these changes can be beneficial, and they, they tend to provide a selective advantage for an organism. Other changes are harmful if they affect an important everyday function. So we go back to the basic process of evolution. Basically, we have three essential parts of it. And the first one is that natural selection is possible for the DNA of an organism to occasionally change or mutate. He said that a mutation changes the DNA of an organism in a way that affects its offspring, either immediately or several generations down the line. The second one is that the change brought about by a mutation is either beneficial, harmful, or neutral. Anyway, it is at all. If the change is harmful, then it's unlikely that the offspring will survive to reproduce. So the mutation dies out and goes nowhere. And the process is, and this process is known as calling. The third one states that as mutation occurs and spread over a long period of time, they cause new species. To form so quickly we go back to types of evolution we have three types convergent evolution this one is when the same adaptation evolve independently under similar selection pressure example is flying insects birds and bats they all evolve the ability to fly but independently of each other the next one is co-evolution 
when two species or groups of species have evolved alongside each other where one adapts to changes in the other example is flowering plants and pollinating insects such as bees and the third one is radiati adaptive radiation when a species splits into a number of new forms when a change in the environment makes new resources available or creates new environmental change challenges An example is finches on the galapagos island when they have developed different shaped peaks to take advantage of different kinds of food available on different island then in summary we say that a species is a population of organisms that interbreeds and has fertile offspring living organisms have descended with modification from species that lived before them uh, natural selection explains how this evolution has happened more organisms are produced that can survive because of limited so resources organisms struggle for the necessities of life there is competition for resources and the last but not the least is that individual within a population vary in their traits and some of these traits are inheritable and they can be passed on to their offspring here is the end of our lesson